Breaking the news that's already broken. It's time for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. A Japanese town is blocking views of Mount Fiji to deter tourists. They also plan to cut down on visitors by changing the town's name to Detroit. John Bon Jovi said that he's had 100 girls in his life despite being married. Wow, I guess we now know who gives love a bad name. Oh my God. <laughs> Not a fan? That was rough. That's I like a nice <laughs> pun like that. Kevin Costner is reportedly dating Jewel. Read more about it in 1994, the magazine. Making sure breaking news stays broken. Tune in Monday for Prospector's Briefs on Rock 107. It's time to have a little fun on the phones. Good morning. I'm Rock 107's Prospector, and we're going to be calling a, uh, a garden center, and I'm going to be talking to one of the women who worked the register, and I'm going to try to get her to get a picture with me. But the reason I want the picture is probably going to make her shut that down. It's another Prospector prank call on Rock 107. Garden Center. Yeah, hi. Who am I speaking with? Hi, this is Christina. Christina. Uh, listen, my name's Rick. You don't know me. Uh, you were working the register last Thursday, right? Yeah. Okay. I came through there. I, I got some shrubs. I'm sure you don't remember. Uh, anyhow, I, and I know this is kind of random, but I'm coming by today, and I'm dealing with a, a breakup that uh, I'm not really crazy about. I'm trying to work things out. Uh-huh. You know, I, I don't know how to ask you. I'll just ask. Would it be all right if uh, when I came through, I had one of my friends or somebody there could just take a picture of us talking? Oh. Like, just even if it's at the register, whatever would do, I, like, we wanted to take a picture of us talking. Nothing more than that. No hand-holding, no hugging. I, I know it's odd. But I, I have a reason, and it would really. What help is me your out. your reason to use my picture? Uh, okay, I'll explain why. So the girl I was seeing, I want her to see a picture of me talking to you, because I figure if she sees that picture of me talking to you, and then she you know she'll want to work things out, and we can get starting again. And really, that's what I want. So you're trying to make your girlfriend jealous? No, 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 no. I'm I'm not trying to make her jealous at all. I'm just I think if she sees a picture of you talking to me, she's really super pretty. She'll be confident. Like, okay, well, obviously he's going to appreciate being back with me, and maybe that'll open things up. It's like reverse jealousy. She sees me talking to someone that's not that pretty. It's not that you're not pretty. You're just not as pretty as her, right? Like, she's a model pretty. So you're, so, thinking, you're saying I'm ugly? Oh, God, no. No, I'm not saying that at all. No, I'm sorry if that's what you thought. Well, that was rude. I, I don't, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not trying to insult you. I'm just saying it would help me out a lot. Well, I don't think using a picture of me, I don't want you to use my picture for that. Like I said, I'm not saying that you're ugly. I'm just saying if somebody's like model pretty, that's that's different, right? No. Are, are you in a relationship? Am I in a relationship? Yeah. Yes. Okay. There are men out there that are better looking than the guy you're with, like models, right? I mean, I'm sure models. Okay, but do you love your guy? Yes, I do. All right. Is he a model? No. Okay, so there's guys that are more attractive than him, but you still love him. That's like you. Like, my girlfriend is way more attractive than you. That doesn't mean you're not attractive. Do you see how I mean that? that? It's just rude how you're coming off. Well, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just trying to come by today and get a photo. It's not a big deal. No. It's in public anyhow. It's not like we're in private, so you really can't stop it. But I just wanted to get your blessing. No, but... you don't have my blessing at all. Well, I would appreciate it if you'd help me out. Is this because you think you're ugly now? Because I'm not trying to say that you're ugly. No, because I think you're just rude. How all right, how about this? About how, about, how about you just post a photo of yourself on Instagram and then tag Absolutely me? Absolutely not. Just tag me in Tag the prosy. No, I'm not going to tag you. Absolutely <laughs> not. I don't know you. That's weird. <laughs> Come on. Absolutely it's a, not. It's a prospector prank call. <laughs> what? Oh, It's a prospector you prank call. So You're on Rock 107 right oh now. Oh, my God. <laughs> I mean, like, who would even call and ask that, I have right? A creep? <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, my God. I was trying to be professional, and oh, my goodness. Wow. Your ultimate bingo bash station, Rock 107. Head to Rock 107 NEPA on Instagram. We've got a poll there. This or that, Preferas versus Nardone Brothers Pizza. We're going to be talking about that in a bit. How worried are you about security? It's Prospector at Rock 107. Kate, do you have like a passcode or a password on your phone? I do not. And I know it's what? dangerous, but oh, I don't. How do you live like this? I'm so lazy. Oh, my God. Now, look, it is world password day today so this is the day to maybe add one we're supposed to be updating our passwords if you have them if you're like kate start putting the passwords together what is the most common password in america do you think uh password one two three pretty close how about one two three four five six followed by password followed by admin followed by one two three four that's somebody's password and unknown none of those are good passwords if you're gonna put are you gonna put one on your phone maybe no i promise 
Don't use any of those, okay? <laughs> uh, a company called Hive Systems, each year they put out a graphic and it'll show you how long it would take hackers with software to, compl- to crack your password, uh, depending on how long or complex it is. With Kate's phone, I guess you don't need to worry about it, but basic passwords, like just numbers, you know, four-digit codes on your phone, they can crack them instantly. So even that's not enough, Kate. Yeah, so why even bother? <laughs> no, no, no. We want to give it a challenge. A nine-digit passcode. Nine digits, which seems like a lot, right? That's a lot of work. Six minutes for them to crack it now. Oh. Yeah, so it's fast. Uh, now, you start to mix in letters, uppercase letters, lowercase letters, symbols, add them into numbers, and now we're good. So like an exclamation point, a question mark, things like that have a lot. If you add all of those things along with numbers, a nine-character password would now take... 479 years to crack. All right, I'll start thinking about one. Yeah, get a nine, like maybe just a sentence in your head or something like that. Now, my phone's password, are you ready for this? 24 characters long. Your phone? Yeah, 24 characters long. Uppercase, lowercase, special character, numbers. That's a good password. That's a lot. And here's the best part. Software, it would take 19 quintillion years to pass that. So I'm, I'm secure. You're good to go. I'm going to give you my phone right now. Try and get in it. There's no way. Can't be done, Kate. Life's pretty tough right now. There's plenty of bad news, but it's not all bad. It's time for the brighter side of Prospector on Rock 107. I need to dream better. Uh, Kate, do you ever dream about winning money? No. Really? I, honest to God, no. Me neither. Uh, check this out. A guy in North Carolina, his sister told him she had a dream and found a bunch of gold, which is, you know, kind of cool. I'm prospector. I should be dreaming about finding gold. That should be you. Yeah, but yet I'm not. So he went out and bought a lottery ticket. Are you ready for this? Won $837,000. Wow. You got to promise me if you ever dream about finding gold, you're going to let me know. Oh, I'm telling you. Thanks. We needed that. The brighter side of prospector on Rock 107. 731, 60 degrees, Rock 107, Nickelback, your ultimate bingo bash station. And uh, kind of fitting, Kate, that uh, Nickelback there, rem- reminiscing about their youth on that, because we're about to do the same thing, right? Yes, sir. Oh, oh, a thirsty Thursday, this or that, I couldn't be more excited. Uh, I'm going to go back to my childhood, Kate. Um, and it probably depends on where you grew up in Northeast PA. But back in the day, there were two box pizzas that were big. There was a couple other ones. Uh, there's certainly one in Hazleton, uh, Snaps, uh, Snappies, and there's like you know, Lungos and all that stuff. But the two big ones that I remember, Nardone Brothers, Proferas. So we're going to this or that these pizzas today. Which one is better? Which one do we want to know? We got something on the rock lines here going into open mic on the Rock 107 app. I can't resist a slice of Nardone Brothers pizza. It's the perfect comfort food. Oh, Now, how's the poll doing? I got to admit... Nardone's is crushing Preferas. Eric says, Preferas was good, but I got to go with Dones. Dones is like, uh, he's nicknaming it there. Dones. Daryl says, we had Nardone's every Friday for lunch in grade school. Ooh. Yeah, it's crushing. Okay. Karen says, if we didn't get the case of Odd Cut from Preferas itself, it was Nardone. Now, Odd Cut was like, you know, they didn't, they, like, the nights weren't perfect or whatever. Yeah. So it was like the odd man out kind of thing. Uh, Ryan and Dunmore on the rock lines. Thirsty Thursday, this or that dude. Uh, Preferas, Nardone's, which one? Yes, I'm calling about the poll for Preferas and Nardone's. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, Preferas, 100%. Nardone's was just a copycat. You know, they, they wanted to be like Preferas. <laughs> Let me guess, you grew up in Lackawanna County. I, I used to work there. Ah, there you go. Now, let me ask you this question. Did you purposely put fewer cheese pieces on some slices and more on the others? Uh, no, it, it, was, it just happened. It just fell where it went. You know, that, that, that's the art of it. Uh, I'm looking over on social media yeah. again. Matt says, prefer is eaten cold with middle, Middlesworth chips crushed on top. Ooh. Add a glass bottle of cloak out of the cooler and wash it down and you're set. That sounds heavenly. Yeah, that does sound really good. Mm-hmm. Michael says... Nardones, that stuff is what hangovers are made for. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and Marianne says, Preferas most definitely was right up the road on Music Street. Yeah, I mean, it was. I grew up in South Scranton. It was right there by us, so maybe that's why my love for Nar- uh, uh, Preferas is a little more than Nardones. Thirsty Thursday, this or that. Uh, we're heading to the rock lines. What do you love? Which one? Preferas pizza. <laughs> You're not even just no just dispense with the pleasantries, Kate. She doesn't even want to say hi to us. Good morning. <laughs> What's your name? Paula. Paula, you like Preferas any reason why? 
because it was really good, and I remember it when I was a kid in school, and <laughs> it was like the best. Uh, John on social media says, I remember my parents getting the seconds of Preferis. They were broken mm-hmm. and missed cuts, but I prefer Nardone's. I can read it, eat it right out of the box. So I have to admit, Nardone's yeah. is crushing on yeah. social media. And that poll will stay up all day. It's over on Rock 107 NEPA on Instagram. Go settle this debate. Oh, sure, you could fake your death, but that only works so many times. I wish I was dead. Make your mornings worth living. It's Prospector on Rock 107. An 18-year-old truck driver in Michigan crashed into a 20-foot tree and drove around with it embedded in the side of his truck. Police arrested him at a gas station and sent him to a hospital to be checked out. A 40-year-old drunk idiot was arrested after kicking a bison in the leg at Yellowstone National Park. The bison fought back and the man was being treated for minor injuries at the hospital. The guy who kicked a bison and then the bison fought back. You're lucky to be alive and you're the yam bag of the day. And you'll move on to Friday's Yam Bag of the Week competition. Keep it here for all the nominees for Prospector's Yam Bag of the Week. Friday morning on Rock 107. Thanks for listening to Prospector's Prime Cuts podcast. Be sure to catch us live weekdays from 5.30 to 10 a.m. on Rock 107 or online at rock107.com or the Rock 107 app. A free download for your Android or iPhone. Subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you get your podcasts so you never miss Prospector's Prime Cuts.